Hi, junk journaling friends. This is Lauren with Shabby Chic Sunday. Today I'm going to show you my latest creation, which is my design team project for Shabby Art Boutique for this month. And I am using the kit that is called Fox Hollow and it is exclusive for members of the craft room. I will leave information in the description box below if you are interested in checking that out. Um, every single paper that I used in this journal is from the kit. And this is um, a little baby book, although it could very easily be altered to just be a regular journal. Um, the way I have it, though, as of right now, is to document the new experience of um, expecting a child and then all the way up through their first birthday. So that entire journey um, for, your, for your baby. So on the cover here, we'll start right at the front. This is removable, like the last few journals have had something like this. This is entirely made out of paper and actually an aluminum can. So this is um, another creation from my dad. And then I just decorated it with the moss and the flowers that are around it. But this is supposed to be a little broken tree that our Fox family now lives inside of. And so this is their Fox Hollow. And um, I used the Tim Holtz wood embossing folder to get the tree-like effect. And then just kind of dry brushed it with some black paint. And so my dad made it so you can open inside. This one does not have twinkle lights like the other um, last few journals have had, but it's just a little small space and there's a little mommy and daddy fox inside and they are waiting for their new baby. So it's very, very light. Um, it's pretty sturdy though, cause it's made with some thick cardstock, multiple layers of thick cardstock. And again, it's removable. So if it is just on display, it can sit right here. And then when you want to actually use your journal, you can easily just take it off. The little fox here and here, these are optional. So if you would like to adhere them to the journal in front of the white picket fence, you can next to the fox hollow, or you could take those off and then just leave the color, um, I'm sorry, the cover as is. So on the cover then, you just have a couple shades of different pastels, shabby chic colors of the mint green, pink and beige and tan, and then the cream fence here. And then I left the top part of the journal blank so that whomever purchases this, I'll personalize it for them and put the um, baby's name at the top if they know what the baby's name is going to be. There is a removable ribbon tassel on the side as well as a long um, dangly chunky charm. There's a couple of little pink mushrooms on here. Um, other than that, this one is just beads. Um, to match the colors. And again, that is removable. There's two little charms right here on the front of this bow. Little lock and key. And that easily just pops off. So it's just for show. And then the ribbon unties here, like so. And this is your front cover page. I have a couple of charms throughout the pages, but um, I mostly left this one very simple because I want it to be fully utilized for um, all the memories that it's going to capture. So there are some removable tags, um, but it's mostly lots and lots of tuck spaces for holding pictures, and then lots of writing space. What I really enjoyed doing from this kit was taking all of the fussy cut pieces and then having them be half um, on the paper showing and then half tucked inside of a pocket. So this is on this background piece here and then I would just use another piece of paper to make a pocket. So half of it would be showing and I liked that. I thought that added a nice little effect. So this is left open for photos and then I just typed up what I would want in a baby book if I were to create one. So this starts with the love story of my parents and all of these flip outs here that were on the front, all of these, they're all left open. So they are all packets inside. Uh, my family tree, 
And then there's just a packet here with two beautiful tags. Place photo here. This is another fussy cut design that is just on this background paper. And then you have a packet right here for photos. Some of the pages are left open on the inside as well. This is my first house. You have a little note card here that goes right inside of this packet. That flips open. Room for pictures, room for journaling, lots of open space. So it was very difficult for me, but I had to keep reminding myself not to add too much lace, not to add too much frill and ribbon. Um, so it could be an actual working journey uh, journal. The beginning of my story, how mom felt during the pregnancy, a little charm of a moon, baby names. This is a double pocket. So you have a large pocket up here at the top. And then you have one down here. Food cravings. Little tag here inside of the pocket that flips open. More fussy cut flowers on the background paper. And this is a pocket as well. This is space for the baby shower. Another double pocket. So you have some tags down here. And then this is a tuck spot pocket up top. Place photo here. Another fussy cut back there. This opens here. This opens this way. You have a little removable journaling card here. And one idea that you could do is um, if you buy this before the baby shower, then people at the baby shower could journal on all of these little removable tags. And then you could place them inside of this journal as a little gift. So maybe somebody could write on the back of this and then pop it right in here. So when the mom looks at it, um, the expecting mother, she'll be able to see everybody's little notes. I really just loved putting these fussy cuts on the backs of those packets. I don't know why, but that was my favorite thing about this journal. First visitors, this flips out here. You have a little tuck spot with another note card. This up here is a packet. This flips open. You have another removable journaling card. And these can be moved wherever you would like in the journal. This is a packet right here, a nice deep packet. My favorite things, this is a packet here. Looks like we need to put something in there. There's a little goodie. Little cluster with a charm dangle. Prices of things when I was born. This is a packet here inside. Cutest thing I ever said, biggest mess I ever made, removable journaling cards. This flips out. We've got removable journaling, uh, journaling cards right here. This flips out this way. Another removable tag. And cute little fox. Okay, first big trip out of the house, first family vacation. Little charm dangle up here. First trip to the zoo. Packet here with a tag inside. This also flips open. Little fox here. My baptism. Charm dangle. This little postcard here is a packet. And then there's a large packet behind there as well. My first haircut. This would be perfect for any expectant mother for the fall season. Removable journaling cards. This here is the packet. Growth chart. And then this is open in the back here. It's the last page. This is what the back side looks like. And then I do have... Um, three mini books that come along. So these are obviously removable to allow for easy um, excess journaling space. And then two additional signatures. And I just tied them with a ribbon. I did not want to sew them together and I did not want to sew them into the book because I want whomever buys this to be able to alter it to fit them. So if there's an expectant mother now for the fall season, 
Um, maybe they'll have their baby before Halloween, so they'll have a picture for my first Halloween. And then it goes in order. My first Thanksgiving, my first Christmas, my first Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, all the way through. Um, but maybe somebody's not going to have their baby till November. And so I, you know, I wanted these to be interchangeable and movable and they can put them in whatever order made sense for them. And then there's just a couple of other things in here, you know, the baby mobile. So what did mom and dad's first car look like? Um, picture of the baby's room, facts about daddy, facts about mommy, any family pets, first birthday, which is last, obviously. So, um, and there's pockets here in the front and in the back. So obviously this book takes you through, again, your pregnancy all the way through um, the first year. And then this additional signature here, um, which is left open, is for tracking all of the different months of the baby. So if you wanted to do like monthly photos of their growth spurts, this is obviously then an example for month one. And then um, you can just clip it right here and put a photo of the baby's first month. And so this book will take you through all the way to one year. So these are all the different little tags to show a picture of the baby for each month of their growth. And then there's a little shaker of a pumpkin that will come with the journal as well. And then um, a couple of other additional little tags and then a couple of envelopes. And these are just filled with additional treats um, more little foxes. This could totally be a gender neutral book because there are shades of blue and pink. I would say there's probably more pink than blue, um, but there's boy and girl foxes. So you could, you know, definitely use this for a baby boy or a girl. So there's a couple of envelopes here which are filled with additional things and you can personalize the journal a little bit more yourself. Um, this is currently listed for sale on Etsy, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out or feel free to message me. Take care. See you soon.